there, everyone, and welcome to the MAT 211 review on partial derivatives. My name is Julia, and I work for the tutoring centers at ASU. So for our problem today, we're going to look at finding the partial derivative with respect to x, the partial derivative with respect to y, and then evaluating both of these partial derivatives at the point 1, 2 for the function f of xy equals 10x squared times y plus y or third plus three y uh, to the third. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to look at finding our partial with respect to x. So we're going to, let's see, just write this down here to make it clear for ourselves. So we're going to find the partial with respect to x, which is we can also write this as the partial with respect to x of our function explicitly, which is 10x squared times y plus 3y cubed. Okay, so when we take a partial with respect to x, we're going to treat y as if it is like just a regular constant. So it's another constant multiplied uh, against our x here. So it'll be treated the same way as like our 10 and our 3. So for our first term, 10x squared y, we're just going to be taking the derivative of the x squared term here and the other two are just going to multiply on. So we'll have 10 times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x times y, because it's a constant and it's multiplied, and plus, when we look at our second term, our second term doesn't have any x's in it. So therefore, it is actually going to be treated as taking the derivative of a constant, which is 0. So if we clean this up a little bit, we have 20xy as our derivative with respect to x. Boop, boop, boop. Now, if we want to evaluate this at the point 1, 2, we're just simply going to put the values 1 for x and 2 for y into our equation. So if we have the, the partial derivative with respect to x evaluated at the point 1, 2, that's going to equal 20 times x is 1, in this case, times y is 2. So it'll equal 40. Now let's turn our attention to our derivative with respect to y. Oops, let's clean this up so it's not a mess. There we go. Gotta be readable. Okay, so if we take our partial derivative of f with respect to y, which we can rewrite putting in the explicit function here, partial with respect to y of 10x squared times y, plus 3y squared, or y cubed, excuse me. So again, just like we did with our partial with respect to x, we're going to treat any variable that's not y as a constant. So in this case, our x term here is just going to be treated as a constant. So we can just roll it right in with this 10x, uh, this 10 over here. So it'll, the whole constant here is, is treated as 10x squared. So if we take the derivative of this first term, that'll give us our 10x squared as our quote unquote constant times the derivative of y, which is just one, plus three times the derivative of x, or excuse me, of y cubed, which is three y squared. So this gives us 10x squared plus 9y squared as our derivative of f with respect to y. So then, if we want to evaluate this with respect to our point here, 1, 2, we're going to have our partial of f with respect to y 
evaluated at the point one, two. And again, we're just gonna plug in our values here. So we'll have 10 times one squared, so x squared, plus nine times two squared for y squared. And if we work this out, that gives us 10 here on the left, plus this will be nine times four, so 36. So we end up with 46. And that's it. That's all we've got. So, let me clear this. Before I go, I just wanted to remind you all that if you are looking for any additional tutoring or academic support here at ASU, please visit the Tutoring Center website at tutoring.asu.edu. And you can see that link right here. So if you wanna find a specific tutor or tutoring services for a specific course, you can use our tutor search function, which you can find on our main page here or by following this full link here. And the tutor search function allows you to find tutoring services for your specific course. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.